Hi, hey, welcome to another Cups Tutoring Tutorial. Our goal is to condense information into videos that are somewhat rich in content but still take a very short time to watch. More than one viewing is usually required for a new skill. Sometimes you're typing several pieces of data into cells and you think to yourself, boy, I wish there was a regular pattern to this and then some program could um, guess what I'm going to type next. Well, let's, today let's talk about this tiny little blue box here. This is the autofill handle. If I grab it, you see how my cursor goes from this range select, this white plus sign shape cursor. Okay, that's range select. Well, if I move over to the edge there, it changes to this tiny black box. Not the one with the arrows or the hand. Okay, the hand's just going to drag it to somewhere else. We don't want to do that. We want to grab this little black box. And Excel knows that I want, oh, that's a date. Well, it'll put the next day and the next day and the next day. Or you could even change this to like, I don't know if you did one of those series, you just went to weekdays, you know, that kind of thing. Anyway, you should play with that. All right, so Monday, whoop, you can guess what that's going to do. Nothing. I've gone ahead and changed my weekdays to Italian because this computer is set to Italian just for the brevity. You should type Monday and see what happens. I'm going to go to the autofill and whoop, and of course you can kind of guess what's going to happen. Sometimes you don't want all those though. Sometimes you just want like the weekdays or, you know, some other series. Anyway, that's all in your control. Or you can even abbreviate... And it, luckily, it still recognizes that you're doing weekdays. Kind of cool. All right, you can also abbreviate these months over here. January, February, March, Janio, February, yeah. Um, or you say, you know, abbreviate. Okay, all right, no problem. So type J-A-N or M-O-N, autofill, see what happens. Day one, guess what's going to happen? Yeah, it's a label, even though we got a value in there. However, autofill recognizes the value in the label, and it'll keep that going. So... One way we can use this is like, I don't know if we're doing a dog show, yeah, dog number one. Uh, it'd take a long time to type all the contestants, but instead I can just say dog, 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 dog. yep, there are nine dogs. All right, well, back to whatever we were doing. If you got a format, say I've got this, you know, shaded green, and it's got a dark around the outside, I autofill it, pull it down, and it notices I still want green. I still want that dark border around the outside. So labels, yeah, all it does with the label, it just repeats it over and over. However, sometimes you want other appliances in there, like a, a fridge or uh, there's a light up on the ceiling or a cabinet or what else do you have in your kitchen? A microwave. There we go. That's fine. All right, so I'm going to grab that range. I said shift up to grab the range. You can use the white plus sign to grab the range. Anyway, after you got the range, you've established the pattern. Then tell Excel you want to keep it going with autofill. Whoop. Same thing with like skip counting. If I say two and I autofill, I have to tell it to fill a series, you know, to keep it. Then it's only one on one at a time, though. Sometimes I want to say, who do we appreciate? Like that, you know? And then I want to grab the range and then I want to autofill it, or maybe I don't want to count by twos. Really, any linear pattern is going to do. Um, like if I've got, uh, let's say, 3n minus 1 would be 2 and 5 and 8, you get the idea, okay? So as long as I got that linear pattern established and it'll keep it going. Um, so those are some useful ways to use autofill. You should try some more, see what happens. Thanks for watching. This has been brought to you by Cups Tutoring. Remember to practice these skills without the video right away to help them take hold in the more active part of your memory. And above all, while trying to learn new material, remember to set aside time to get plenty of exercise and sleep. Thank you for watching our demonstration.